Hi, I'm Andrea James from cookingforlife.club. This week's Tuesday Q&A question is, what is the difference between a high-speed blender and a normal blender when it comes to making nut milks? So in both blenders, I have measured exactly 206 grams of cashew nuts per blender with three cups of water each. In case you're wondering about the very exact 206 number, it's because I put in two cups of cashew nuts pre-soaked. Uh, so that's the kind of proportions I usually use when uh, starting out making a nut milk. I sometimes dilute it thereafter, but one cup pre-soaked to three cups of water is the standard proportions uh, that I use. But I just wanna make sure that both had exactly the same amount uh, post soak. So that is what we have here. So I'm gonna fire them off for equal amounts of time and then take a little sample and then do that again. So let's crack on. <laughs> after about 45 seconds of blending and already you can see um, there is a difference in the color and the settling in the two blenders. This one has much more of the nut settling there and this is a little bit more homogenous with um, considerably more foam on the top as well. So I've taken a sample from the normal blender and this is what it looks like after of uh, about 45 seconds. So you can see it's still quite a lot of the nut and some of it has formed into the milk. So I'm just trying to get all of this back in. And you can see with the high speed blender, it's actually um, already completely blended down. So there aren't really any sediments uh, left. I'm now going to blend both of them until I know that they're completely as, as blended as they can be. And then I'm gonna show you the results of the straining. So this is how I strain the milk. I've already done the same with the high-speed blender while the regular blender was blending. So I'm just gonna show you the step and then I'm gonna compare the, the different weights. So uh, I used a, a nut milk bag. You can just get these. Um, as with everything else, probably, in, uh, in Amazon. One of the differences I can see already is with the regular blender, there is a little bit of nut sediment in the blender itself. These bags are actually really handy. Very, very fine sieve finer than a uh, cheesecloth so that's what i used to use but cheesecloths are really quite difficult to to wash out and these are remarkably easy um, to just run under the tap and and get them nice and clean so what i've done is i've weighed the nut milk bags before and after filtering it's not the most precise way of doing it but it gives us a, a rough take on just how much nut is left in the blender rather than being in your milk. So um, the regular blender, it says 154 grams uh, and the bag is 30 grams uh, without anything in it. So it's 124 grams of nut left over. And in the high speed blender, it was 80 grams in total and therefore 50 grams of nuts that were left over. So it's about two and a half times uh, the amount of, of nuts. So that's, it's quite considerable. So if you're making lots of nut milks, I suppose, you know, might be, might be worth considering. So the bigger question of, does one need a high-speed blender? Well, I mean, they are a luxury. They're quite expensive. I, I just got one at Christmas, secondhand on eBay, and I only got it because I'm doing this cooking thing and trying to make sure that I have tested the recipes and made, you know, be more thorough with my clients. I personally probably wouldn't have got it. However, now that I have it, uh, it's a wonderful toy. I, I even drink some smoothies now, which I never really cared for. So, eh, if you've got spare dosh, yes. Uh, otherwise, I think it's, it's really quite a luxury. Um, all right, I hope you found that uh, answer useful. As I go along, I will do more tests and put the results in the members area. If you'd like to find out how you can become a Cooking for Life uh, Club member, uh, drop me a line. Uh, I'll be opening up memberships very soon. So questions for next week, do write to questions at cookingforlife.club. I'm Andrea James again, and I hope to see you again next week. See you.
Bye.